Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. My name is Mitchell Osborne. You can find me at MitchellOsborne.com and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for the week of October 28th through November 2nd, which is a Saturday. And this week, you know, November 1st is the um, Pagan Gaelic New Year, um, a new moon on Sunday, November, October 27th, um, as well as Mercury going retrograde on October 31st, Halloween, right when the veil is the thinnest. So there's a lot going on energetically. And there are several spreads that I have out there for those specific things, Mercury retrograde, new moon. Check out my website, check out my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter accounts. But right now, let me dive in and um, give you the message for this week. Um, first of all, the message is from the message <laughs> is from Penelope Smith. She is an author um, uh, that does a lot of writing about animal communication, which I am a student of her books. Books, but the message is this from one of her books: There is so much ignorance when spirit is divorced from self. And that's one that I'm still unpacking, and but it just resonated with me so much, I wanted to make it a message for the week. So there's so much ignorance when spirit, source, God, your connection is divorced, is severed, is cut, is not maintained, is not um, strengthened or, or worked upon from the self, from who you are as the human in this meat suit, in this body. So, you know, let's just sit with that for the week and um, see how that feels and see if you can't strengthen your connection to source and make sure that the marriage between yourself and source spirit is strong and developed well. Now, if, you, if you're watching me, you know I've been using the Deviant Moon and the Zombie Terror for um, most of my posts and everything for the month of October because it's Halloween. So this time uh, today I'll be using the Deviant Moon. So let's see what you can expect for this coming week, starting on Monday the 28th all the way through Saturday, November 2nd, and um, how can you best navigate and how might you grow, what might, might you learn. So what can you expect? First card, this is the sun. So you can expect a lot of bright, brilliant, beautiful, positive, wonderful stuff. So it's going to be a very positive week. Mercury retrograde starts. New moon on Sunday, the, the the 27th of October, and the new year for the for the Pagan Gaelic festivals. Um, so yeah, sun, it's going to be great. Ride the wave. How can you best navigate that energy? <laughs> tower. You could not find almost two opposite cards, and the tower came up in my daily pull, which the daily pull is random, so I don't I don't pull it and just I, I randomly draw and let spirit speak. So how can you best navigate it? Tear it down. So it's going to be a positive week, but tear it down. It's a house of cards. Knock it down. Rebuild it. And remember, if your house of cards or whatever it is that you're working on falls apart, don't rebuild it the same way you did before. If a relationship has a bump, don't try to go back to the good old days. You know, Making it great again is not always the thing. Learn from the mistakes and move forward and make it even more amazing with the shifts and changes and the understanding and the growth that you've had. Now, how will you grow? What might you learn? What you might be able to manifest this week. This is the Seven of Swords, and this is a very interesting card, just because of the way it is. But typically, this for me, the Seven of Swords is moving out of or past the drama, weeding the social garden. But when I look at this card, it's like, do you really want to make the choice of swallowing that sword? And you've been you've been balancing it, you know, on your feet. You're in this awkward, awkward position. Swords are air. That's mental, logical. It's element stuff. You know, again, the moon is in almost every one of these cards because so it is a deviant moon. So be very conscious. How will you grow? You might be able to balance things better. You might be able to you know work with that tower energy better because look at this person they are you know contortionist and can balance it what might you learn that you know you've already tried this with five swords and now you've got two left do you really need to continue on doing this because the other swords are laying around you know what might you be able to manifest you might be able to manifest attention you might be able to get attention of someone if you're trying to like grow your business or you know become Instagram famous or something. So and that's just looking at the images on the card. I was having a discussion with somebody online about these cards, and you know typically I'll say you know okay the traditional meaning it's bright it's positive it's powerful. But then when I look at this image, 
I see that there are two very dark images in front of the sun. And typically, you know, when we as humans stay out of the sun, we get darker and darker. So this could be a moment where, you know, the getting darker and darker is a benefit to you. Or it could be that you've been in the sun too long. You've been in the positive power stuff too long. So you need to tear it down. You need to move on, move past it. So just that's where I say sometimes, you know, go with the traditional meaning and then dig into the actual images on the card, especially with the zombie tear. It might have been the zombie tarot that I was talking about that but both these decks the images are so powerful that I read the traditional kind of meaning but then I layer in the images I see and allow the card to really speak to me so there's your message and like I said new moon um manifesting spread is out there um the shadow cycle spread i think the 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 code is still good through today because every week i pick a spread and put a discount on it that's something that i used to do and i'm doing again um also the halloween year ahead spread a lot of people buy i've already done so many and i do i do the full spread at the beginning of the year january 1st but right now the halloween year ahead spread is a very powerful one because it starts off with who you are and then at the end it goes through november to october October, then what you should focus on, what you should reject, and what magic can happen. So again, check all that out at my website, MitchellOsborne.com. And Sunday nights, I'm doing Talking with Animals. And this coming Monday night, the 28th, if you want to learn about mindfulness, the benefits, how to be more peaceful, more calm, have a stronger immune system, then um, from my business page, um, actually, I think that's my personal page, I'm doing mindfulness meditation. It's just a 30-minute session. I'll talk a little bit about the benefits, and then I'll do a simple meditation at the end. All right, go join that event if you want. Namaste. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.